Once upon a time, mom baked in her trailer a big left in the house in the woods. Mommy Pig did not have enough money to look after the three little pigs. Mommy Pig told the three little pigs that they would have to leave her and make their own fortune. The next day, the three little pigs left and went into the woods. They did not see a big bad wolf watching them from behind a tree. The wolf was hungry and wanted to eat the three little pigs. The three little pigs meet a man with some straw. The first little pig asked the man if he could have some straw to build his house with. The man said he could and gave him some straw. The first little pig made a house from the straw. He was very happy with his straw house. The other two little pigs waved goodbye and carried on through the woods. The first little pig went into his straw house a little ahead. The two little pigs met the man carrying sticks. The second little pig asked the man if he could have some sticks to build his house with. The man said he could and gave him some sticks. The second little pig made a house from the sticks. He was very happy with his house made from sticks. The third little pig waved goodbye and carried on through the woods. The second little pig went into his house made from sticks. The third little pig met a man pushing a wheelbarrow filled with bricks. He asked the man if he could have some bricks to build his house with. The man said he could and gave him some bricks. The third little pig worked very hard and made his house from bricks. He was very happy with his house made from bricks. He wanted his house to be stronger than the other two. The big bad wolf went into the first little pig's house. He looked in the window and saw the first little pig, the wolf, knock on the door. The wolf asked if he could come in, but the first little pig would not let the wolf come inside. The big bad wolf huffed and puffed. He blew the house away from the straw away. The first little pig ran to the second little pig's house. The big bad wolf went to the second little pig's stick house. He looked inside and saw the two little pigs. He knocked on the door and asked if he could come in, but the two little pigs would not let him come inside. The big bad wolf huffed and puffed. He blew the house made from sticks away. The two little pigs went to the third little pig's house. The big bad wolf went into the third little pig's house. He looked in the window and knocked on the door. The third little pig were all in the house together. The big bad wolf asked if he could come in. But the three little pigs would not let him come inside. The big bad wolf huffed and puffed, but he could not blow the house made from bricks away. The red house was too strong for the wolf. The big bad wolf carried a ladder to the house. He was going to climb down the chimney and into the house that way. The big bad wolf climbed up the ladder and onto the roof. He was very happy that he would eat the three pigs today. The big bad wolf jumped down the chimney. He landed in a pot of boiling water. The three little pigs had put the pot on the fire underneath the chimney. The big bad wolf was burned badly. He jumped out of the pot and ran out of the house. The three little pigs were very happy. They did not have to fear the wolf anymore. They lived happily ever after. Moral of the story, do not take shortcuts in life.
hard work always pays off in the end.